Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch. It's June 28, 2011. It's about 8.20 in the morning. And I got up early this morning, about 5 o'clock, because I knew I was going to have this female flower here open up. This is the Big Max variety. And, uh... I thought that I was going to come out here and hand pollinate it because I like to do that. It makes me feel a little bit closer to my garden and everything and the fruits that I'm helping to produce. But uh, the flowers didn't open up that early like they did last year. And so by the time they did open up and I came out here, you know, every 20 minutes and checked on them and by the time they opened up, well, the bees were already there and I have a phobia of bees so I didn't want to mess with them. Okay, so... I figured I'd at least do some filming and I could see bees all around in there and and I got several male flowers uh, from my Howden plant, from the Cinderella and one from the Big Macs uh, that opened up this morning and they've been all around visiting all the male flowers and coming to the female and everything like that so hopefully she's going to be pollinated. Um, now the thing is I've been doing some reading about cross pollination and you know if, if one species of pumpkins like my Howden's, the male pollen can be used from that to pollinate us, say, a Big Macs or a Cinderella. And I'm finding conflicting information online about it. You know, one says it's from one species of uh, a variety of pumpkins and another one says it's from a different variety. And supposedly what you can do is you can, you can cross-pollinate within the same subspecies you know and I have three different varieties out here and like I said I'm getting conflicting information about you know the Howden belongs to which which kind and the Big Macs belong to which kind and so forth so I just don't know what's going to happen but what I did read consistently is that if it is cross-pollinated from diff uh, from pollen from a different variety of pumpkin or, or even zucchinis or whatever it's not going to change the shape size or color or growing of the pump pumpkin this year but what it will do if it is cross-pollinated you can see those different varieties and and different uh, shapes and you know in, in next year's crop but it shouldn't matter this year so if you want to s don't want that in your plants then uh, don't use the seeds from this year's crop to plant for next year if you don't know for 100 percent certainty what pollen was used Otherwise, you you just don't know. Okay, so that I have read about, and that's consistent. Okay, so let me show you over here to the male um, flower on the Big Max. And like I said, it's been visited several times this morning. And there it is right there. And uh, bees have been going crazy in there, and I'm hoping that that's the pollen that's going to be end up in the Big Max pumpkin because I just want to keep it kind of pure. Up here is some uh, howled and male flowers that are uh, blooming, and again the bees have been going crazy and um, so and you can see over there Cinderella mounds and a little bit of Big Macs but all those male flowers over there are the Cinderella variety that have bloomed so again I just don't know what's going to be the end result here you know right now there's no, there's no bee inside that Big Max flower but they've been going in and out and there's looks like a couple trying to get in there so um, but I just wanted to show you uh, the size of that Big Max baby pumpkin right there and I'm thinking that if that gets pollinated, I think I'm going to be pretty pleased with the size that it's going to grow to. Because that's a good-sized baby pumpkin right there. 
and I got a couple more on the same vine that are, are slowly maturing. Um, but that's looking really good. I, I, I've seen them crawl all in, in and out of there all morning long. So I'm hoping she's gotten all she's needed. Now, let me show you. Uh, yesterday, um, I was coming out here to pollinate, hand pollinate some couple of the Cinderella um, plants, flowers. Uh, they were, one of course is right there, and the other is right there. But as again, the bees got to it before I did, so again, I don't know uh, whether anything was successful and everything like that. And it usually takes a couple days, three or four maybe, to tell whether the plants have really, been, the flowers have been pollinated. Um, so, I, this is about a day, this happened again yesterday, so I'm about a day into it, and it looks like the cinder, those two Cinderella's both got pollinated. Um, but I'm not sure. I have the one over there, and uh, that was about three or four days ago, maybe five, and I don't know what's happened to that one. There were no male flowers at that time to do any kind of pollinating, so I don't know what's going on with that one. I'm surprised it hasn't shown, shown signs of uh, shriveling up and dying. The, uh, so we'll see what's going to happen, and uh, I'll know for sure in a few days whether I have pumpkins or not. But I just want to show you all these bees just going around uh, uh, visiting those Cinderella male flowers and and um, I don't know if they bees stop coming around after a few hours or whatnot, but they're just going crazy in those male flowers. And um, they're so busy at work, they're not messing with me, which is a good thing, because again, I'm scared to death of them. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to see if we can get some... Um, See, we'll get in there. But, that's what's going on. I got some other female flowers showing signs of wanting to uh, bloom here in the next few days. I got the Howden over there that's done really well. You can see the vines just going crazy. It seems to grow like an inch or two every single day or, or something like that. It's already crossing over that mound and I've trained it to grow in between those right there and I have the one Howden uh, female flower out there and uh, probably three or four days from now maybe five it, it should be blooming and uh, we'll go from there so I'm just gonna continue to watch these uh, bees do their job and and I'll be checking on them to see how uh, how things are going with the, with the female flowers in a few days and see what's going on. So, till then, things are going great and we'll see you later. Bye.